The Nigerian government has signed an agreement with China as part of efforts to promote clean energy and green industrialization at the ongoing climate change conference in Azerbaijan. As Amok Mariola reports, and then we'll return with business updates. Stay with us. The day opened with a high-level forum on South-South cooperation on climate change, a platform aimed at driving sustainable development in developing countries. Speakers passionately emphasized the need for stronger global commitment to climate solutions. And last but not least, let's not forget that even if you survive those very vulnerable five years, when you're a girl in places like certain areas in Bangladesh, when there is a heat wave that lasts longer than 30 days, the chances of you to be married off by your parents as the only option that they have to do with the shock that climate change brings is that the chances of you being married off between the ages of 11 to 14 rises with 60%. That is what not COP29 and COP30 will be critical moments. We will need China's continued leadership, choosing a path that focuses on solutions, ensuring that the massive benefits of bolder climate action, stronger growth, more jobs, better health. Shortly after, Nigeria and China formalized a partnership by signing a pivotal agreement. This deal is seen as a game changer in boosting Nigeria's climate action and advancing its green agenda. This is just the beginning of a relationship between us. Uh, this is started last year when we came for last year's COF. We, uh, we had a bilateral with them. We, sit, we, we sat down and indicate some of our problems that we are facing in terms of climate change and, and the repercussion of climate change in certain uh, areas. So the, the agreement is just, or the MOU is just the beginning. With this collaboration, Nigeria aims to strengthen its commitment to addressing climate change and promoting green industrial growth. Esther Mariola, TVC News, Azerbaijan.